Uh, today we're going to go over how to keep your jerk position close and efficient and straight so that you catch it in a good receiving position and stop losing jerks out front. Uh, so we're going to kind of make this like a two-part thing. We're going to post another video in a couple days. Uh, but for today, all we're going to be worried about is what happens with the barbell on your shoulders. Uh, so a lot of the stuff that we're going to go over in this video and uh, most of the videos we do probably, they all kind of relate back to one rule. And that's that we're taking the barbell from in front of you to behind you, right on your center of gravity, which is right on top of your spine. So anytime we're doing that, it's all about creating good, solid efficiency in that position and not wasting any energy by separating unnecessarily from that, uh, from that straight line. So it's really easy to kind of picture this, and you can kind of keep this in mind as we're going through uh, the parts of this in this video. If Josh holds a PVC bar out in front of him like this, up a little higher, and he tries to resist me from pulling it down in front of him, that's not really that easy for him to do. But if he holds it in tight, it's a whole lot easier for him to resist me pulling it down. So the reason for that is because you're the strongest the closer you are to your spine. Every inch that you separate from that, you're losing strength, and therefore, especially when we're talking about going overhead, you're gonna be losing efficiency. All right, so Josh is gonna take the bar out in his front rack position. Uh, now from here, if you look at his heel, his hip, and his shoulder, that's in one straight line going straight up over his midline. So anything that he does that separates forward or even backward from that line is gonna make him not very strong or efficient in that dip drive. And the first problem that we see people having is taking a forward lean, a forward momentum, uh, when ideally we're going straight out of the heels. And what that means is either pushing out of the balls of their feet or even worse, out of their toes. So really quickly, we're gonna show you a, uh, a video of Josh doing a jerk from the balls of his feet. Uh, and the biggest thing you wanna keep in mind and pay attention to is the position of his shoulder, his hip, and his heel in relation to where that bar is going as he dips and drives. All right, as you can see, his jerk, uh, everything was forward in it. He dipped into the balls of his feet and he drove from the balls of his feet. So there's a really simple cue uh, that a lot of people use to fix that problem, which is just stay in your heels. Uh, but the problem with that and that we see happen a lot of times in here is that everyone will dip really well in their heels, but then they'll always revert back to the balls of their feet as they drive, uh, which kind of goes into human nature a little bit. I think that as we think about jumping, we think about forward momentum, but it's important to think about this jerk not necessarily as a jump with the barbell, but as a pop. And when you're popping the bar, really all we're trying to do is get that good pop out of your hips. So even though you could probably jump a little bit stronger from the balls of your feet, we're separating from that center of gravity. So the, the jump that you're gaining, you're losing a lot more strength just from not staying back in your heels. So really quickly, we'll show you a jerk where he dips in his heels, but then he goes forward into the balls of his feet when he drives. Um, so even though he started in his heels on that one, he did move forward into his foot. Uh, and that's actually an extremely easy problem to fix with a really simple cue of just keeping your toes off the ground as you dip and as you drive. So you get Josh to take the bar out of the rack real quick and you come, come look in close to his feet. Um, so what Josh is going to do is super, super slow motion. Uh, we're not actually going to do the jerk right now, but he's going to lift his toes up as he dips. His weight's in his heels, so go ahead and dip. And then as he drives, just pop up. That bar is staying right on his heels. So now do just, just a jerk dip drive real quick with your toes up off the ground. Good, awesome, all right, you can rack it. So when he does that, it's physically impossible for him to move forward because he's got his toes up, putting his weight back in his heels. Uh, and I definitely wouldn't suggest doing that too heavy, uh, but it's a really, really good uh, kind of drill you can do to help just train that movement of staying back during the entire dip and drive. Uh, the second part to this where your upper body can kind of uh, work against you is your elbow position. Um, now again, it goes right back to that same rule, uh, and kind of a good way to think about this is that you're going to push the bar wherever your elbows are pointed. So ideally, when you're in that front rack, your elbows are up right here, which means we're going to push that bar straight up overhead. Anytime you drop your elbow, that means you're going to be pushing the bar out away from you, pushing it in whatever direction that elbow is pointed. We see it a lot of times in men, especially, of uh, really wanting to like drive their arms and their upper body into the jerk. Uh, but the problem with that is any strength that you're going to gain from using your arms, you're automatically losing it because of that separation from your midline. Um, 
And also, it's really important to remember that a jerk is not an upper body movement at all. It's a hip movement and it's a timing on that dip drive with a really, really fast change in direction uh, where your upper body is doing nothing but just supporting the weight when it's overhead. Uh, it's much more about your shoulders than it is your arms. So don't you know, get, get caught into dropping your elbows so you can really get a good punch out of your arms. Think it's all shoulders. It's kind of a silly way to think about it, um, but it kind of works, is that it doesn't matter like, how big and strong a tree trunk is if it doesn't have solid roots. So that's the idea, is that you're catching the bar with your shoulders, not with your arms, and not using um, your elbows, or dropping your elbows to use your arms to get it up overhead. So a good way to, to stop yourself from doing that, or even as a jerk gets really heavy, people tend to let their elbows drop on that dip drive, is just simply to set your elbows as you dip drive. So Josh, take the bar out of the rack again. Um, you can kind of come over here. Yeah, kind of like straight on. So what Josh is gonna do to stop his elbows from, from dropping as he dips, is as he dips right here, he's gonna set his elbows up just slightly. So kind of, yeah, dynamically dip and set. And what that's gonna do is set that bar back on his midline. It's gonna stop him from trying to use his arms and keep everything back over his shoulders. So do it one more time. Good. So if Josh keeps his toes off the ground, he sets his elbows as he goes up, that barbell's gonna go in a perfectly straight line right overhead. Uh, and we'll show you that real quick. All right, so yeah, two really simple cues that's gonna help put a lot of weight on your jerk is just one, set your elbows as you dip drive and also keep your toes off the ground, keeping everything in that good straight line. Uh, the other side of where your jerk might be messed up is your leg position when you do a split. Uh, we're gonna post another video in a couple days with uh, just going over good leg positions and a good receiving position. Uh, and then we're gonna tie both of those back into uh, my favorite uh, drill that we've learned to kind of correct a jerk, to think about it as a leg movement where you drop underneath the bar as opposed to some kind of weird push press. Uh, so we're gonna post those videos coming up in a couple days. Um, thanks for the awesome response to the last video. Uh, we're gonna keep it going, bunch of videos. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, outofstepbarbell.com. We do free lift analysis, so uh, just go on there, submit your videos, and we'll, uh, we'll send you an analysis back. Uh, thanks a lot, thanks to Josh for coming in and doing this. And we'll see you, uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>